Have you seen Isaac? He told me that he was. Yeah, I seen him. Uh, we were training with Duke in the summer. Yep. Exactly. Yep. He yep. was doing some gym with me when I was watching him. Mm -hmm. with, uh, yeah. No, he's he's been he's been working his butt off, man. He looks good. He doesn't look like an offensive guy. No, no, he has to put some weight on. Terrence, when you face a defense that has a lot of disguising uh, guys rushing from different places, how, how does that? What's the biggest challenge with that? Is it just yeah, it's really just uh, yeah recognizing and everyone being on the same page. Um, you know, that kind of drives a lot of that. He gets us in the, in the right spots, and we just got to make sure we're, we we lay that on the line of scrimmage and we're all on the same page. When you face Micah just in general, wherever he's lining up, what, yeah. how, how, how's that helping you get ready for the season? Oh, I mean, that's huge, man. They're, uh, the Coach Zim's doing a good job. You know, kind of put him everywhere. It's going to cause a lot of a lot of problems for your offenses coming up, so good luck with that. Where, where are you at physically right now? Obviously yeah. now a year removed from the injury and everything, where, where do you feel like you're at right now? Honestly, like, I know I, I probably say this every year, but this is definitely, like, the best I've ever felt. Like, my knee feels, like, it, was, it feels back to normal, 100%. Like, I'm moving great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really good out here. I've, I've had a good camp so far, so I'm, I'm excited about it. For you, when you were breaking in as a tackle, you had Zach Martin next to you. You yep. kind of see Guyton yep. having Tyler Smith. Oh, yeah, home. definitely. How much does that help, having that guard inside? Man, it gives you tons of confidence. Uh, you know, run, pass, uh, just, you know, being there, just him, him being a brother in general, you know what I'm saying? He just gives you tons of, tons of confidence to go out there, you know, play for one another. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's very helpful. So. Four years ago, you went to SoFi Stadium and started your first game, didn't have any preseason, yep. COVID year. Yep. And then now, you guys go back to so, SoFi. Yep. I don't know if you'll play. I, I, maybe, maybe not, but, but it just, can you just talk about the journey of yeah. like where you were then and where you are now? Yeah, no, it's been crazy. Well, like you said, we we were the first game. And it was a brand-new stadium, right, so yeah. far. First game there, my first season, my first start. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's been cool to kind of just see, you know, where I started and just how far I've come. And, um, yeah, I'm just grateful for, you know, every every step along the journey. And uh, there's tears and many more, so. Feel like a, a vet now. I mean, you are, I know, yeah. vet, but you feel like one of the older guys. Now? Yeah, I, me and Zach were talking, man. Uh, it's my fifth, my fifth year coming up, and it's just crazy how time flies by. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like a vet. Um, definitely a guy, you know, that the young guys can look up to. So, um, I'll, I'll definitely embrace it. Especially for you, I guess, after Tyron now leaves. I mean, right after Zach, you're the second guy on yeah. after after everybody else. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been crazy. Um, yeah, just got to step up in that leadership role and I'll take care of the youngins coming in. So I know how it was when they when they were in that position. So I just want to look after them, make sure they're successful and everything they do. So. How did you meet uh, How did you meet Diego Ortiz when you were in? Yeah, he was uh, assistant at Texas Tech. Uh, you know, he came in. Uh, he asked Coach King if he can get a job there, and yeah, he, he was he's been working his butt off ever since. Uh, just super hard worker. You know, he was always the first one in, last one to leave, and um, yeah, he's, he's been awesome. He's had an awesome journey so far. Were you surprised a lot of Mexican coach in that time? Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah, it's probably one of the one of the first ones I've had, and uh, you know, he's actually he came came from Mexico, so um, you know, it's just to see his journey and his passion to want to you know learn football and, and work with our team, man, it was it, it was awesome. So what was he doing in Texas Tech? What was exactly his position? Uh, he was an analyst, I'm pretty sure. Um, Kind of just helping the offense, you know, analyze defenses and uh, just kind of work on work on our stuff. And um, yeah, that's what he was doing. How was off the field? Because he said that he was very close to you. Yeah, no, he was cool off the field, man. Uh, like I said, he was mainly working, so I didn't really see him off the field. But you know, any any side conversations we had, we were always just talking. And he's a cool dude to you know get to know. And yeah, no, it, he was cool. He was an awesome guy. What about his football knowledge? Do you yeah. think he has? Oh, 100%, man. He, I mean, he, he's a student of the game. He wants to, he wants to learn football. Um, you know, he's, he's trying to know the ins and outs of everything. So he's definitely got the, the passion for it, for sure. Finally, what do you think about his new position with the Indianapolis coach? Yeah, no, I'm super excited for him, man. You know, he, he's been with Tech for a while. To see him, you know, take that step to the league is huge. Um, you know, I, I wish nothing but, but the best for him, and I know he's going to work his butt off there. So I'm, I'm excited for him. Thank you, thanks. Yeah. Taking Tyron's spot with the walkout with Zach. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Yeah, me and Zach uh, timing it up there. So, yeah. It is. I mean, they were together for so long. Yeah, right? like, yeah. What Zach when uh, when he walks out there? Was he saying anything? You guys talking ball? Just <laughs> talking about what you had for breakfast or? Uh. Yeah. Sometimes we just talk about the day coming up. Um, 
you know, any justice we have or we can just be talking about nothing football related, just whatever's just on our mind then. So, yeah, um, that's really about it. Nothing What's else. the best thing you learned from Zach over the years? Uh, good question. I would definitely say just watching him and just how he goes goes about his day, day in and day in and day out, just how consistent he is and everything he does, and um, just his routines every day. Some I noticed very early on, and I wanted to replicate um, him and Tyron. To be honest with you, um, just just how professional they are. What like routine? Like what? Like he's always ankle taped at this time, or yeah, uh, or? man. I guess and in the building, outside the building, like in the building, just. Gets there at the same time every day. Um, yeah, he's all, he, he, he is taped before meetings sometimes. Uh, just this process throughout the day, like even outside the field, he has a uh, routine to, you know, take care of his body, and uh, he, he sticks to that. And I've, I've kind of adapted a little bit of that as, as we've gone on. Like so cryo and massages and all that yep, kind of stuff? Yep, or? cryo, massages. We go to the same PT guy, um, IVs. All that, yeah. Here's a guy that's going to be in the Hall of Fame one day, mm -hmm. and yet he still gets down to the mundane. Oh yeah, that's stuff. yeah, that's that's a secret right there. That's a secret to the to the sauce is just not getting bored of the mundane and you know trying to have a growth mindset every day and um, it's just majoring the details really. So, if you had to watch you on film last year at this time and this year at Tonk, what yeah. would you say? How different is it for you? I would say. Consider the circumstances that kid's given everything he's got, so that's what I'd say. And how about now? I mean, is it even a like last year? You could probably say you weren't thinking about it, yeah. but it had to be in the back of your mind. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I think it's natural. Um, you know, anyone's first major injury coming back, it's going to be in the back of your mind. And how can it not? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I mean, you just gotta. It's just something you got. It's a process. You just gotta work through it. Um, just more reps you get, more confident you get. And now I'm as confident as ever, man. I'm ready to go out there and roll. So. Yeah, good day against Micah. Oh yeah, yeah, man. I, mean, oh. I need it, man. Micah, man, he's like <laughs> one hell of a rusher. You know what I'm saying? He's quick, twitchy. He's got power. So, man, any any rep I can get against him and you know do solid against, I'll take it for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you. Good to see you.